Impact 1983 director, Clint Eastwood writer, Joseph Stinson, starring Sandra Locke, Pat Hingle, Bradford Dillman, Sudden Impact was the fourth film in the Dirty Harry series and the only one Eastwood directed himself in. The film wasn't the most acclaimed of the series and received a fair share of negative reviews. While the story and film itself is a bit lurid the film did find a place in film history by providing one of the most famous movie quotes ever with Eastwood's delivery of Go Ahead, Make My Day. And Lightfoot, 1974 director and writer, Michael Cimino, starring Jeff Bridges, Jeffrey Lewis, Gary Bussey. Eastwood plays the grizzled veteran robber, while Jeff Bridges plays a quirky young partner. Eastwood begins to work with. Bridges was a surprise nominee for Best Supporting Actor considering the genre of the film, but his combination of youthful energy and offbeat comedic charm clearly made an impression on voters. He lost the Oscar though to Robert De Niro for The Godfather Part Two. Gran Torino 2008 director Clint Eastwood, writer Nick Schenk, starring Bivang, Onia, Christopher Carley. Eastwood gave an acclaimed performance in this film. He also directed. The story centers on an elderly man who just lost his wife of 50 years. He feels alone and isolated in his community of a Detroit suburb which has changed over time with the exit of factory workers and the influx of poor Asian immigrants. His life changes, though through a connection with one of his new neighbors. Eastwood seemed to be a possible Best Actor Oscar contender early in the race since he won the National Board of Review Best Actor Award and was a runner-up for the New York and National Society Critics Circle Awards, but he failed to make the cut at Oscar nomination time. Ty Trope 1984 director and writer Richard Tuggle, starring Genevieve Bujold, Dan Hay Dyer, Alison Eastwood, Clint Eastwood's early career never really got him much attention when it came to Oscars and other award shows. His early westerns and genre pictures didn't really deliver the kind of performances that earned nominations. That would eventually change later in his career. This film though was the first time that Eastwood actually managed to generate some Oscar buzz for a performance. Eastwood plays a detective tracking a serial rapist and killer who finds himself being taunted by the killer. Genevieve Bujold also gave an acclaimed performance as a rape crisis counsellor and was considered a possible Best Supporting Actress nominee, although the film ultimately didn't earn any Oscar. Notice The Igus Sanction 1975 director Clint Eastwood, writers Hal Dresner, Warren Murphy, Rod Whittaker, starring George Kennedy, Vonetta McGee, Jack Cassidy. Eastwood directed himself in this thriller that features incredible mountain climbing scenes on the Eiger, a mountain in the Swiss Alps. He plays an art professor and collector who also just happens to be a paid assassin. He is trying to leave his assassin past behind him, but the government calls him back for two more sanctions, which means two more killings. Team In the Line of Fire 1993 director Wolfgang Peterson, writer Jeff Maguire, starring John Malkovich, Rene Russo, Dylan McDermott. This highly exciting film, from Das Boot director Wolfgang Peterson, casts Eastwood as a secret service agent who was on duty the day JFK was assassinated. He is determined not to let the current president fall victim to a sinister killer who is threatening the president. John Malkovich had a scene-stealing role as the killer and earned Best Supporting Actor nomination. S at the Oscars, Golden Globes, and BAFTA. He would lose the Oscar though to Tommy Lee Jones for The Fugitive.